Hey everyone, Miss Scarlet Tanager here, and as I said I would do, every other week I would do some kind of vlog or something like that. So here is the one for this week, and I'm just going to move that over so I don't see my webcam. <laughs> so for this vlog, I just wanted to talk about something, and now I'm forgetting what I wanted to talk about. What was it? What was it? Right! So as you guys have no doubt noticed in the last few days, I've changed my outro video, or outro video, outro music. Originally, it was I'm Everywhere by Technoax. I changed it to... I don't know the song very well, but I did really like it. Um, the Dolphin one. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. But another Technoax song that I liked. Um, blanking on the name right now. Wow. But the reason that I changed it was the song I'm Everywhere happens to be Jacksepticeye's outro music. And I had gotten some comments about people thinking that I stole it from him, or something else. The song itself is royalty free and can be used by anyone. I started using it at just after he started using it on his channel when we were both really, really small. And it just happened to be a happy coincidence. I didn't watch any of his videos until about a week before PAX Prime last year. But once I watched it, I went, oh crap. We used different parts of the same song in our outro. So I talked to some of my YouTuber friends, and after I started getting some comments about the outro music, I decided I was going to nip it in the bud and change the outro music, because he probably wouldn't care, but I don't want to deal with the drama and comments and stuff, so I changed it. So besides that, another thing I wanted to talk about was YouTube itself and Twitch by extension. So I was kind of inspired to do to talk a little bit about this by OG Chan's video on it that I actually watched earlier today. I'll put a link to his down in the description below if you want to watch it. It's a really good video. But it's kind of about YouTube life and just what it's like to be a YouTuber. One thing that he brought up in his video was how at the end of the uh, at the end of videos, some of my videos, not a lot of them, I'll say something like, if you like what you saw, please remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and share the video out all over the internet, and etc. You usually hear that at the end of my highlight videos, less so often during a normal video, though. So the reason why we do this kind of thing is, sure, for most YouTubers, it's a hobby. And for me, I guess you could say that it's still a hobby, though I do have the Twitch stuff, hopefully, fingers crossed I'll get partnered one of these days, and I have the Etsy store. But for a lot of people, it is part of their living, and things like liking, sharing, stuff like that, even though they may not seem important from a viewer side of things, can be really, really, really important on getting a video seen, getting a video just like optimized in YouTube search engines, and can make it like much easier for a YouTuber to grow. So I'm always super thankful anytime somebody likes or favorites any of my um, videos because that directly helps me out, in my opinion, as much if not more than just watching the video by itself because I might get a single view from somebody watching one of my Yandere Simulator videos, but I get more views when somebody shares that and it brings people in. And as weird as it is to say it, it is a business. At the moment, it's just a hobby for me. I'm able to barely scrape by off of my student loans, coupled together with the Etsy store and the awesome donations that I sometimes get on Twitch. But it is a business, and it does help. Now, some people may think it's sleazy, oh, you're just doing this for views, or oh, you're just, you know, doing this so you can get some subs, or just to get famous like Markiplier or somebody else. But that's not it. For a lot of people, they do want to do this for a living, and it does take a long time. And once it starts that upswing of just subscribers and growing and growing and growing, it does become your livelihood. Now a lot of channels that I've seen lately have been getting copyright strikes, have been getting taken down for completely innocent videos, things like that. I've seen a lot of it on Twitter mostly, because I don't follow a lot of the channels that this is happening to. And it's, like, in, the, in a case like that, your entire income can leave overnight. And the fact that YouTube has that power and that they're exercising it in a wrong way like they have been lately 
is absolutely terrifying. So anything that anyone can do to help a content creator that they really like is super, super amazing and super, super helpful. You know, you guys may not realize it, but every time I see comments, I see all the comments. You guys see me replying sometimes. Sometimes I don't because I really can't think of anything to reply. But um, every time I see a comment or a video that's doing well, like getting a lot of likes or shares, that means I pay attention. So if you like a video of mine um, and you like it and you share it or you favorite it, I see that and that tells me that you guys want to see more of that. That actually tells me that you want to see more of that more than the views do. Because if you like a video, I go, wait, they want more of that? But if you just see a video, that doesn't tell me whether or not you liked or disliked it. But by liking it, commenting what your thoughts are, um, improvements I can make to the channel, things like that, that does help. And that's just something I kind of wanted to touch on for a minute. But... Okay. But, oh, my webcam slid completely out of focus. When did that happen? It's not gonna go back. Oh, there we go. It went into focus again. Good. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring that up for a little bit to kind of like get the juices flowing in your guys' mind about it. It is something that is very important to a channel, even though it may not seem like it from a viewer's standpoint. And I am a lot less eloquent than Ji Chun is on it. So yeah, watch his video it's in the description. It's down there. It's down there. Approximately where my legs are, if you were blew up this shot. It's down there somewhere. So you guys should watch it. But anyway, that is going to be it for the vlog for this week, guys. Um, it's a short one because I'm not really good at vl vlogging. What else can I say? Right! This week's or er, this month's charity stream is going to be a playthrough of XCOM. I don't know if it's going to be XCOM 2 or XCOM Enemy Within. That depends on how far I get in my Let's Play, because I don't want to get spoilers, spoilers for XCOM 2, so we might do XCOM Enemy Within instead. Um, but, yeah, there'll be more information on that when I actually think of it. But anyway, my name is Miss Girl the Tanager, and this has been a random vlog of randomness, because I couldn't think of any topics this week, except for just random stuff that I've already talked about. And I will see you all in the next video.